hey there everyone welcome back to my channel um, in this video we will be going over um, the fastify framework on uh, node.js so I'm gonna be walking through fastify and then building a little demo application using uh, fastify now um, just a little brief introduction um, what is fastify so fastify is a node.js HTTP framework like Express that allows you to create RESTful um, APIs just like um, Happy or Express or, or, or any other HT, HTTP um, framework that you're using. Um, it's an efficient server with a low cost infrastructure and better um, responsiveness under load. Um, another great thing which really attracted me to Fastify was that um, they boast about being the fastest Node.js framework out there compared to the likes of Express and Happy which is like very common in the, uh, in the Node ecosystem. So um, depending on your code complexity, um, complexity obviously, um, like the requests will vary but on average it can serve up to 30,000 requests per second which is actually pretty insane. Um, a few features of Fastify also, it's not only fast and like its name, but um, it also provides a lot of key features. So one is um, schema based validation for routes, which I really like, like I'm not trying to import uh, another library to try to do um, validation on the request. Um, it has it has a built in logger. So um, requests are logged, um, entering and exiting um, the server. Um, and it's extendable via plugins, uh, hooks, and decorators. So plugins is a very key feature for Fastify where people can kind of like build these plugins for, for Fastify, which can be easily, um, which can be easily used. Um, and uh, natively, it, pr it provides async await support, which is mainly what I'll be using to uh, go through Fastify. Now, a little comparison of uh, Fastify compared to every other um, Node.js framework, like why Fastify over the other um, frameworks. So here are a few key features. So on the left, we have Express, Happy, and Fastify for the first row. Um, it checks all the uh, all the all the requirements, but for middlewares, obviously Happy is lacking in that. Um, and then when we go down, um, plugins is obviously very. A very specific thing to fastify but when you come down to validation like everyone um, when you do if you make an HTTP server like you're always doing validation um, everywhere um, hooks is another um, key feature that fastify provides um, decorators um, logging um, which Express doesn't and but happy does and um, async await support is provided by happy and fastify so, and then when you go, go down to the actual um, benchmarks, obviously these two benchmarks are very different. Um, so um, compared to Express, Happy, and Fastify, um, Fastify does 21,000 compared to Express. Um, on the right, I've, I did see the code for the request made on the right. It's a very simple get request um, spitting out hello world on the other end. So obviously like that's a very lean um, um, server, like it's not doing that much. But as you can see, it's doing 76,000 requests per second, which is truly like, which is really good for like one one entry point of a server, whereas uh, Koha follows right after Express, then Restify, then Happy. But yeah, that's a little sum sum about Fastify. Um, moving on, um, just just before I start, I just want to uh, mention some prerequisites for this, for following along. Um, JavaScript uh, programming knowledge is um, is very useful for this. So if you know your variables, your promises, your asyncs, awaits, and all that kind of stuff. Um, Node package manager is another one because we'll be um, downloading and using different packages including Fastify um, through the NPM. Um, another one is Postman. So just to check request and stuff, um, we'll be going to be using Postman to send a request. And just a basic understanding of like RESTful a APIs, what are they, how, how are they used, um, so on and so forth. But let's uh, yeah without further ado let's let's move on to the interesting part of this so let's open up a new let me zoom in a little bit so let's open up a new project um, fastify backend over here so now obviously we're using uh, npm so let's um, let's initialize um, npm init 
dash y to initialize a new npm um, project and there we have this um, package.json file over here very very quickly um, let me close that and um, so now we need to import the fastify um, package so npm install fastify over there so now this this downloads fastify onto our project to try to allow to make um, so that it's available so now we got um, our beautiful little fastify as a dip dependency here i'm just going to download two more things just to make develop uh, developing easier um, so npl npm dash dash save dash dev and i'm going to get my beautiful little node mon so i'm not restarting the server over and over again and another one is standard so this is just um so JavaScript's are not really nice when it comes to coding. It doesn't really help, help help you out with what you're doing wrong. So standard is just a, it's almost like a code linter. So that's what I'll be um, that's what I'll be using to help me catch some errors that I might look over. Cool. So there's downloaded into our dev dependencies here and fastify is over here. Cool. We can close this. Let's make a new folder, a new file. Sorry, and um, let's make a node mon js file with some basic instructions on starting this um, project so let's go you're going to be looking for extensions in the start of js um, you're going to be verbose so it spits out everything and then it's going to exec execute standard dash dash fix which will lint the stuff and uh, and node index.js cool notice i'm missing a comma here a quote here and uh this is a boolean so this doesn't matter and this is a .js file let me rename that it's actually um json that i need and let's make a start script here um where I'll be just be starting up the server with uh, with Nodemon. Cool. We got all our basic stuff set up. So now let's uh, actually make a yeah let's make a file here called index.js and let's um, code out our first simple Fastify service. So let's uh, import Fastify. So I equals require um, fastify and then actually to logger is in uh, is uh, built in um, with fastify but we do have to um, tell fastify that we want to use it so we turn logo uh, logger to true and now just something just something simple not uh, not too drastic so we'll just make a get request over here with a forward slash uh, home directory um, function request reply and we will reply reply dot send um, over here and it'll be hello world cool and then over here at the bottom let's put a space here It's a period here instead of it. Okay, so now we start our service. So um, um, fastify listen on port 3000, um, and then it'll take a callback function with an error and the address that it's on. Cool. And now if there is an error over here, then we can um, log this using fastify. So the way we do it is fastify dot log dot error and then it will consume the error and over here we can do fastify dot exit with the status code of one cool we save that we do npm start cool you see how it did like the linting and stuff so it made it a bit cleaner and over here at the bottom we see that our server is now listening on port 3000 this is the logger that's built in so now if we go open up um, postman uh, which was a prerequisite of this uh, of this tutorial so it's loading up 
you can open a new tab here and then do localhost 3000 we send that in and there we go hello world so then in as many times and we get the same response cool so this is how we build like your your basic startup like very simple application with one request and as we can see here like um the time the unix time that this request was received so it's incoming re incoming request and then on the other end it's um request completed so everything gets gets logged over here um yeah so this is all um, fine and dandy but i did say that um, fastify does support a, um, async await natively so i really prefer using that so let's just let, let's just switch this around so it's using async await so we'll do make this an async function obviously it'll be an arrow function let me delete that cool that's one too many um, brackets and then over here instead of using reply we can actually just return the body that we want so we can just do hello world and then we change this to um, also uh, change this to an async await type um, start so let's go here make this an R function and over here because it's async await we got to do a try catch so we await fastify dot listen on port 3000 and over down over here in the error we can console log the error and also with that we can do fastify um, dot log dot error um, and log the error cool we don't need this at the bottom anymore because this is um, old school just callback function style and now we can um, actually start this um, start this function over here and there we go so it's back up again but this time with an ES6 type pattern um, that's um, that you, we should probably start using more um, promises and async the way it is actually really better is um, JavaScript in my opinion but that's just my opinion but anyways okay cool so now we have this simple web server going on so now what's next so now let's move into plugins and how are they used so let's make a new folder here called plugins and um, what we can do is we can make our, all our routes a plugin over here. So let's make a new file called routes.js over here. And let's make a function called routes that will take in fastify. It will take in options and it will take in a done callback. And we, uh, yeah. So inside here we can use fastify like we usually do. So we can do fastify.get and then we can make this a forward slash over here and um, use an async await um, type um, function so request and reply the arrow function and over here we'll do the same thing so return hello um, world save that and actually we got to do a module module export equals the routes function that we just created and over here in the index function we can finally remove this and do fastify dot register and what are we registering we registering the plugin we just created so we'll do a require um, dot slash plugin slash routes save that and yeah so there's a timeout here and one of the reasons why is because we always gotta call the done function because that's it that signals to fastify that this plugin is now registered and ready to be used so now if we save that and now um it's now running on port 3000 and just for the the heck of it let's build another another get a request call post and we'll do 
post is hello world just so we can see how um, this route is actually working so now let's check if this is working we get back hello world and then here if we do forward slash post um, we get our post object over here which is really dope so this is how you you pretty much register new routes within um, fastify and it's and it's really nice and order does matter so if you did if you did have multiple routes it would um, it would initialize in that order so now let's say you want to um, like you you have multiple registers here but you want them with a different prefix so let's make this routes one and let me make another um, new file here called routes1.js and I'll do the same thing here where it's a function um, and it will take in wait, let me save this file over here function routes and it will take in fastify um, it will take in our options and it will take in our done callback and over here we can do fastify dot get and we can just um, put this we can put this for something else yeah so we can do we can put this for the same thing because it will be prefixed differently so take in an async await of request and a reply um, and over here we will return something totally different so we know it is not it so we'll do the opposite world hello and we will save that and over here in index we will um, prefix these so we'll go over here and add an options of prefix and we will prefix this v1 the other way v1 and this one we will prefix we will prefix this with the v2 over here see if that so that's plugin is registered um, and then we forgot to export it so modules export save that and now um, got it drink oh yeah so we gotta also call make sure you always call the done function at the very end oh, I love my coffee um, and over here so now all of this is invalid now the, these routes just don't exist because they're their prefix so if we go back here and add v1 to this we'll get our original route here and uh, if we go back to v2 and this should say world hello over here and there you go see cool so now you can prefix routes um, just so you can separate them easier so now let's move on to some fastify um, validation